Hare Krishna, my friends. Welcome to Bhaktiville. Friday night here in Bhaktiville, and we're reading from the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Last week we read verses 11 through 14, which introduced the first three questions of the sages at the forest assembly. Let's review them. First question in verse 9, what is the ultimate good for all people? The second question in verse 11, what is the essence of religious scriptures by which the actual self becomes satisfied? The third question in the following verse, in verse 12, why did the Lord appear and take birth from Devaki? So, as I mentioned last week, the Bhagavatam is a series of nested dolls or nested stories. So it gives you the overview at first, and then the first the first nest is uncovered, and it speaks to that first question, and then maybe some diversions in in digger digging deeper and deeper, and then to the next question. So we'll hear these questions over and over, but it's good to hear them at the very beginning and keep them in mind as we continue. So let's continue with verse 15 and see what the questions they ask next. We're on page 92 of the PDF or page 71 of the book. But before we get started, let's offer our obeisances to Srila Prabhupada and assembled devotees. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Putale Srimati Bhaktivedanta Swamin Inamani. I offer my respectful obeisances unto His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who is very dear to Lord Krishna, having taken shelter at His lotus feet. And to the Vaishnavas in the world and the universe, past, present, future, Vanchakalpa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Pyevacha Patitanam Pavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha I also offer my respectful obeisances unto the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord. They are just like desire trees and can fulfill the desires of everyone, and they are full of compassion for the fallen conditioned souls. Thank you for turning that page on the slideshow, Bhakti Mimulus. All right, so now we'll sing those verses that we sing before. We read Srimad Bhagavatam. We'll read the sing the Sanskrit and then we'll read the English. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Oh my Lord, the all pervading personality of Godhead. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Narayanam namaskritya naram chaiva narutamam devim sarasvatim vyasam dojayam udirayet Before reciting the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the very means of conquest, one should offer respectful obeisances unto the personality of Godhead Narayana, Unto Nara Narayana Vrichi, the supermost human being, unto Mother Saraswati, the goddess of learning, and unto Srila Vyasadeva, the author. Srinvatam Svakata Krishna, Punya Shravana Kirtanaha, Vidyanta Stohya Bhadrani, Unoti Suhritsatam. Krishna, the personality of Godhead who is the Paramatma, Supersoul, in everyone's heart, and the benefactor of the truthful devotee, cleanses desire for material enjoyment from the heart of the devotee, who has developed the urge to hear his messages, which are in themselves virtuous when properly heard and chanted. Nashta Prayeshva Badreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki 
by regular attendance in the classes on Bhagavatam, and by rendering of service to the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed, and loving service under the personality of Godhead, who is praised with transcendental songs, is established as an irrevocable fact. All right, so page 91 of the PDF, 92 of the PDF, or page 71, or about there, of the book. We're on page around verse 15. If you have a different version, just look for that verse, verse 15. Everything good, Bhaktamimulus? Yes? Yes, he says, good. All right, here we go. So I will sing a few words, and you can sing them at home, and we'll stitch together a whole line. Yat pada, yat pada samshraya, yat pada samshraya suta, yat pada samshraya suda, munaya, Prashamayanaha Munaya Prashamayanaha Sadhya Punanti Sadhya Punanti Upas Prishtaha Upas Prishtaha Sadhya Punanti Upas Prishtaha Svar Dunyapo Svardhunyapo Nusevaya Svardhunyapo Nusevaya So I think we're good. We can do the whole thing together. I'll do one line at a time though. Yat Pada Samshraya Sutta Pada Samshraya Sutta Munaya Pa Munaya prashamayana, Munaya prashamayana, Sadhya punanti upas prishtaha, Sadhya punanti upas prishtaha, Svardunyapo nusevaya, Svardunyapo nusevaya. Okay, let's do it all, all the way through, all together. Yat pada samshraya sutta munaya prashamayanaha sadhya punanti upas prishtaha svardunyapo nusevaya Word for word. Good job. Word for word. Yat. Whose? Pada. Lotus feet. Samshrayaha. Those who have taken shelter of. Sutta. O Sutta Goswami. Munayaha, great sages. Prashamayanaha, absorbed in devotion to the Supreme. Sadhyaha, at once. Punanti, sanctify. Upa, sprishtaha, simply by association. Svartunya, of the sacred Ganges. Apaha, water. Anusevaya, bringing into use. Translation, O Sutta, those great sages who have completely taken shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord can at once satisfy those who come in touch with them, whereas the waters of the Ganges can sanctify only after prolonged use. Purport. Pure devotees of the Lord are more powerful than the waters of the sacred river Ganges. One can derive spiritual benefit out of prolonged use of the Kanji's water, but one can be sanctified at once by the mercy of a pure devotee of the Lord. In Bhagavad Gita it is said that any person, regardless of birth as Shudra, woman, or merchant, can take shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord, and by so doing can return to Godhead. Just want to say that's Bhagavad Gita 9:32. Krishna says in Prabhupada's translation, "O son of Prita, those who take shelter of me, though they be of lower birth, 
women, Vaishyas, as well as Shudras, can approach the supreme destination. So back to our text. To take shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord means to take shelter of the pure devotees. The pure devotees, whose only business is serving, are honored by the names of Prabhupada and Vishnupad, which indicates such devotees to be representatives of the lotus feet of the Lord. Anyone, therefore, who takes shelter of the lotus feet of a pure devotee by accepting the pure devotee as his spiritual master can at once be purified. Such devotees of the Lord are honored equally with the Lord because they are engaged in the most confidential service of the Lord, for they deliver out of the material world the fallen souls whom the Lord wants to return home back to Godhead. Such pure devotees are better known as vice lords, according to revealed scriptures. The sincere disciple of the pure devotee considers the spiritual master equal to the Lord, but always considers himself to be a humble servant of the servant of the Lord. This is the pure devotional path. Text 16. Kova Bhagavatas Kova Bhagavatas Tasya Kova Bhagavatas Tasya Punya Shlokedya Punya Shlokedya Karmanaha Punya Shlokedya Karmanaha Shudhi Kamo Shudhi Kamo Na Shrinuyad Shudhi Kamo Na Shrinuyad Yasha Kali Yasha Kali Malapaham Yasha Kali Malapaham So we'll go through line by line, and then we'll do it all together. Kova Bhagavatas Tasya Kova Bhagavatas Tasya Punya Shloke Dya Karmanaha Punya Shloke Dya Karmanaha Shudhi Kamo Na Shrinu Yad Shudhi Kamo Na Shrinu Yad Yasha Kali Malapalam Paham Yasha Kali Malapaham. Good. We'll do it all the way all together. Kova Bhagavatas Tasya Punya Shloke Dya Karmanaha Shudhi Kamo Nashinu Yad Yasha Kali Malapaham. Good. All right, word for word. Kaha, who, va, rather, Bhagavataha of the Lord, Tasya, his, punya, virtuous, shloke dya, worshipable, worshipable by prayers, <laughs> karmanaha, deeds, shuddhikamaha, desiring deliverance from all sins, na, not, shunuyat, does here, yashaha, glories, kali, of the age of quarrel, malapaham, the agent for sanctification. Translation. Who is there, desiring deliverance from the vices of the age of Kali, who is not willing to hear the glories of the Lord? Purport. The age of Kali is the most condemned age due to its quarrelsome features. Kali Yuga is so saturated with vicious habits that there is a great fight at the slightest misunderstanding. Those who are engaged in the pure devotional service of the Lord, who are without any desire for self-aggrandizement, and who are freed from the effects of fruitive actions and dry philosophical speculations, are capable of getting out of the estrangements of this complicated age. The leaders of the people are very much anxious 
to live in peace and friendship, but they have no information of the simple method of hearing the glories of the Lord. On the contrary, such leaders are opposed to the propagation of the glories of the Lord. In other words, the foolish leaders want to completely deny the existence of the Lord. In the name of secular state, such leaders are enacting various plans every year. But by the insurmountable, insurmountable intricacies of the material nature of the Lord, all these plans for progress are being constantly frustrated. They have no eyes to see that their attempts at peace and friendship are failing. But here is the hint to get over the hurdle. If we want actual peace, we must open the road to understand the Supreme Lord Krishna and glorify him for his virtuous activities as they are depicted in the pages of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Text 17. So here we have question number four. Let's see if we can move the slideshow back to the six questions. Actually, I think it's next. No, nope, not next. Let's see if we can get to that here on our slide viewer. Here they are, the six questions. So this is the fourth question. What acts does he perform? They're asking for the sages. They're asking for the sage to tell us the acts the Lord performs in relationship to creating the material world. So Sanskrit. Tasya karmani tasya karmani udarani tasya karmanya udarani parigitani suribhi parigitani suribhi bruhi na bruhi na shraddha Dananam. Let's say that last word over again. Shradadadhananam. Bruhina Shradadhananam. Lilaya. Dadata. Lilaya Dadata. Kalaha. Lilaya Dadata. Kalaha. All right, let's do line for line. Tasya karmanya udarani. Tasya karmanya udarani. Parigitani suribihi. Parigitani suribihi. Bruhina shadadananam. Bruhina shadadananam. Nilaya dadata kalaha. All right, all together, the whole thing. Tasya karmani udarani parigitani suribihi bruhina shadadananam dilaya dadata kalaha. Ran out of breath there. Word for word. Tasya, his, karmani, transcendental acts. Udarani, magnanimous, Parigitani, broadcast, Suribihi, by the great souls, Bruhi, please speak, Naha, unto us, Shradadananam, ready to receive with respect, Lilaya, pastimes, Dadataha, advented, Kalaha, incarnation. Here's the question. His transcendental acts are magnificent and gracious, and great learned sages like Narada sing of them. Please, therefore, speak to us who are eager to hear about his adventures, which he performs in his various incarnations. Purport. Hang on. The personality of Godhead is never inactive as some less intelligent persons suggest. 
His works are magnificent and magnanimous. His creations, both material and spiritual, are all wonderful and contain all variegatedness. They are described nicely by such liberated souls as Srila Narada, Vyasa, Valmiki, Devala, Asita, Madhva, Sri Chaitanya, Ramanuja, Vishnu Swami, Nimbarka, Sridhar, Vishvanath, Baladev, Bhakti Vinod, Siddhanta Saraswati, and many other learned and self realized souls. These creations, both material and spiritual, are full of opulence, beauty, and knowledge. But the spiritual realm is more magnificent due to its being full of knowledge, bliss, and eternity. So that's that Satchit Ananda. Prabhupada translates that Satchit Ananda as eternity, uh, knowledge, or consciousness, and bliss. The material creations are manifested for some time as perverted shadows of the spiritual kingdom and can be likened to cinemas. They attract people of less intelligent caliber who are attracted by false things. Such foolish men have no information of the reality and they take it for granted that the false material manifestation is the all in all. But more intelligent men guided by sages like Vyasa and Narada, know that the eternal kingdom of God is more delightful, larger, and eternally full of bliss and knowledge. Those who are not conversant with the activities of the Lord and his transcendental realm are sometimes favored by the Lord in his adventures as incarnations, wherein he displays the eternal bliss of his association in the transcendental realm. By some activities he attracts the conditioned souls of the material world. Some of these conditioned souls are engaged in the false enjoyment of material senses and others in simply negating their real life in the spiritual world. These less intelligent persons are known as karmis or fruitive workers and others are known as jnanis or dry mental speculators. But above these two classes of men is the transcendentalist known as sattvata, or the devotee who is neither busy with rampant material activity nor with material speculation. He is engaged in the positive service of the Lord, and therefore he derives the highest spiritual benefit unknown to the karmis and jnanis. As the supreme controller of both the material and spiritual worlds, the Lord has different incarnations of unlimited categories. Incarnations like Brahma, Rudra, Manu, Prithu, Vyasa, and so on are his material qualitative incarnations. But his incarnations like Rama, Narasimha, Varaha, Vamana, and so on are his transcendental incarnations. Lord Sri Krishna is the fountainhead of all incarnations, and he is therefore the cause of all causes. Text 18. Text 18 is our question number 5. Who are his av avatars? So let's go over the, the verse in Sanskrit. Atta kya hi harer Ata kya hi harer dhiman. Ata kya hi harer dhiman. Avatara kata. Avatara kata. Shubaha. Avatara kata shubaha. Lila. Vidadatata. I'm sorry. Vida dataha, Lila Vida dataha, Svairam, Lila Vida Tata Svairam, Ishvarasyatma, Ishvarasyatma, Mayaya. That was 
fairly easy one. All right, so let's do line for line. Atakya hi hare dimam. Kya hi hare dimam. Avatara kata shubaha. Avatara kata shubaha. Di la vida data svairam. Di la vida data svairam. Ishvarasyatma mayaya. Ishvarasyatma mayaya. All right, whole thing all together, all at once. Atakya hi hare dimam. Avatara kata shubaha. Lila vida da tasvairam. Ishvarasyatma mayaya. Word for word. Ata, therefore. Akyahi, describe. Hare, of the Lord. Himam, O sagacious one. Avatara, incarnations. Pataha, narratives. Shubaha, auspicious. Lila, adventures. Vidadataha, performed. Svairam, pastimes. Ishvarasya, supreme controllers. Atma, personal. Mayaya, energies. Translation. O wise Sutta, please narrate to us the transcendental pastimes of the Supreme Godhead's multiple, multi incarnations. Such auspicious adventures and pastimes of the Lord are performed by his internal powers. Report. For the creation, maintenance, and destruction of the material worlds, the Supreme Lord, Personality of Godhead himself, appears in many thousands of forms of incarnations, and the specific adventures found in those transcendental forms are all auspicious. Both those who are present during such activities and those who hear the transcendental narrations of such activities are benefited. That's us. <laughs> Those who hear about it. Any questions or comments so far? No? Okay. Text 19. This will be our last one for tonight. Vayam tu na vayam tu na Vitripyama Vayam tu na vitripyama Uttama Shloka Uttama Shloka Vikrame Uttama Shloka Vikrame Yach Trinvatam Yach Trinvatam Rasa Gyanam Yach Trinvatam Rasa Gyanam Svadu Svadu Pade Pade Svadu Svadu Pade Pade Okay, line for line. Vayam tu Navitripyama Vayam tu Navitripyama Uttama Shloka Vikrame Uttama Shloka Vikrame Yach Trinvatam Rasa Gyanam Yach Trinvatam Rasa Gyanam Svadu Svadu Pade Pade Svadu Svadu Pade Pade I think it's funny they put a period after that last Pade. All right, whole thing all together all at once. Vayam tu na vitripyama Uttama shloka vikrame Yach trinvatam vasagyanam Svadu svadu pade pade Word for word. Vayam, we, tu, but, na, not, vitripyama shall be at rest. Uttama shloka, the personality of Godhead, who is glorified by transcendental prayers, Vikrame, adventures, yat, which, shrinvatam, by continuous hearing, 
rasa, humor, jnanam, those who are conversant with, svadu, relishing, svadu, palatable, pade, pade, in every step. Translation. We never tire of hearing the transcendental pastimes of the personality of Godhead, who is glorified by hymns and prayers. Those who enjoy association with him relish hearing of his pastimes at every moment. Purport. There is a great difference between the mundane stories, fiction, or history, and the transcendental pastimes of the Lord. The histories of the whole universe contain references to the pastimes of the incarnations of the Lord. The Ramayana, Mahabharata, and the Puranas are histories of bygone ages recorded in connection with the pastimes of the incarnations of the Lord and therefore remain fresh even after repeated readings. For example, anyone may read Bhagavad Gita or the Srimad Bhagavatam repeatedly throughout his whole life and yet find in them new light of information. Monday news is static, whereas transcendental news is dynamic, inasmuch as the spirit is dynamic and matter is static. Those who have developed a taste for understanding the transcendental subject matter are never tired of hearing such narrations. One is quickly satiated by mundane activities, but no one is satiated by transcendental or devotional activities. Uttama Shloka indicates that literature which is that literature which is not meant for nescience. Mundane literature is in the mode of darkness or ignorance, whereas transcendental literature is quite different. Transcendental literature is above the mode of darkness, and its light becomes more luminous with progressive reading and realization of the transcendental subject matter. The so-called liberated persons are never satisfied by the repetition of the words Aham Brahmasmi. Such artificial realization of Brahman becomes hackneyed, and so to relish real pleasure, they turn to the narrations of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Those who are not so fortunate turn to altruism and worldly philanthropy. This means the Mayavad philosophy is mundane, whereas the philosophy of Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam is transcendental. Today's class is a little shorter than usual, but we're going to stop there and continue on next week. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and Srila Prabhupada's purports. Any questions, comments? Bhakti Mimila says, that was very nice. Thank you. And thank you for letting me read. Thank you to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna.